What's up, freaks? We are set for 6 a.m. Boxing, kickboxing. Of course, we're gonna make it, get some cardio in with the, with the work. Get your gloves ready, get your hands wrapped. We're gonna be punching, kicking, kneeing, elbowing. We're gonna take our time getting you warmed up here. In a second, get laced up, gloved up, all strapped up, ready to roll. You can put your gloves on even for the warm up. Doesn't matter. And listen, if you have a bag, you're gonna be hitting the bag. If not, you're just gonna be going in the air. You'll see you don't even need a bag. You can still go crazy, get a crazy workout, get in the best shape of your life in a small little area. Look, we're gonna be we're, we're right here in this little area. This is the size of a elevator we're gonna be in. Tyson's gonna be back here beating the crap out of Bob. I'll be up here in the air, beating the crap out of the air. What's up, Sam? Clara, what's going on? All right. So let's get loosened up, let's get warmed up. We're gonna start right away into our punches. Real soft, light, and easy. Just with light one-twos right here, non-stop. But just look, look how easy and light we're going. Smooth, look at the hips. Pivoting on the twos, turning the body, start getting those hips into it. Getting the body moving, loose, smooth, punching. Easy stuff. Breathe it out. I want to get that body going right away. We're not going hard here. You see, you're going to go the exact speed that I'm going here. Just turning, moving, turn the hips, waking those hips up. And time. We're going to mar alternate marching with a little turn of the torso. Just a little slight turn of the torso. Get ready. Get your hips ready for some from kicking. We're going to be kneeing. We're going to be throwing some elbow smashes. Getting it all in. So keep those hips moving. Get them rolling. Beth, what's up? Beth! Dig, pump, little twist. Start getting a little more of that waist into it as you're going. Want to get those hips ready to open up and throw some thunder. Let's go to our hooks. Loose, loose, loose. So I'm not throwing these hard at all. Just going, getting the body flowing. Get that body temperature up. Get the technique down. Hips, 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 turn. Breathe it out. Elbows up and out, 90 degrees. Remember, these are your threes and your fours. It's all reverse camera. So this is my left, this is my right. Boom, boom, just loose. Smooth, non-stop hooks, but still with technique. See, I'm not just sitting here with the arms here. Look, they're coming back to my chin. Every time. All right, we're gonna bend the knee and just extend. Just a slow front kick. Bend the knee and extend. Slow front kick, just loosen up those legs a little more. Getting those hips opened up, getting warmed up, get used to balancing on one leg. So at the same time, you're using one leg, balance on the other. Bend and extend. Kick it, boom. Right to uppercuts, just loose, smooth. Look at the body working though, twisting. Whatever hand's not punching comes right back to the chin. Just twisting and turning your uppercuts, your fives and your sixes. Just in the air. Even if you have a bag, you're still in the air right now. Just shadow box in the air to get things rolling. Twist, twist, body into it. Shoveling, shoveling, dig, crunch, and flow up. Punching up under the chin. <sighs> Breathe it out. Want that heart rate getting up a little bit. Body temperature getting up a little bit. And good. We're gonna fling open. Catch your shoulder stretch for one to three seconds. Fling it open. While you're just moving your feet, just stepping side to side, front and back, tap dancing, whatever you need to do, we are getting the blood flowing. Fling it and stretch it. Fling it and stretch it. Breathe it out. For the most part, you have two different types of strikes for each round coming up. And we're just going to switch back and forth between the two throughout the round. First we'll do variation A, then variation B, then mixing back and forth, variation A and B with me calling out, you'll see how it goes. Very easy stuff. We're going just right arm right here. Right arm, just forward. Focus on your right arm. Get the left arm up. I don't even really care. It doesn't matter if left arm. Come on your hip if you want. Just forward, shoulder circle, right arm. Forward, shoulder circle, left arm. Just loose, slinging that open. Getting the grease, going in those joints. Grease them up. Get them ready. 
Let's go reverse with the right arm. Oh yeah. Just feels good, just loosening up, just flinging it back without yanking it. You're not jerking it around, but you're not muscling around. Just loose, flowing, getting them shoulders ready to throw some bombs. Left arm, coming back. If you're like me, you have a weird, different range of motion in each arm. But whatever, we're freaks, we deal with it. All right, we're going with some quad stretches. Same as usual, as, as with pretty much how this whole workout is going to go. So you're going to hit, think of this as exercise A. We would do that for a certain amount of time. Think of this as exercise B. You're going to do that for a certain amount of time. Then you're going to alternate A and B when I call switch. So hit A. When I call B, B. Switch over to B. And just hold it. A. Just when I call it. That's how every round is going to go. You'll have variation A, variation B, and then you'll switch it on command. Stretch those quads. Strong, open those hips up. We are getting ready to roll. Right to the knee hug. Same thing. There's A. Just hold it and switch to B. Switch to A. We're switching quick here for these stretches just because we want to get the body flow. We're getting the body ready to move. So in the beginning, we're, we're active with these stretches. Stretch it right to the other side. At the end, we'll hold them. Right now we're getting the body ready to move, ready to punch, ready to kick. We need to have those feet moving, light on your feet. All right, so this first round, we're also going to stay in the air just to get this punch, these punches down. And then we'll, re we'll go back onto the bag after that. So let's get loose. Are we ready to roll? Are we ready to roll? Freaks, let's do it. So we're just going to start with our ones and twos. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. So we're going to start with ones because this is just your refresher and warm up. So this is one punch at a time. There's your ones. Right hand sits glued to your chin. And we are in the air. Keep them up. We know what the one is. We're going to stick with just the one right now. So just move around. Flow. You know what a one is. It's simple. You can even flow around. If you happen to have an opponent that's standing in front of you. Oh, look at that. He's ready. I don't want any part of that. Right down the middle, right hand stays, glued up, put flow, flow, bounce, rhythm, get into it right away. Snap that out there, look at that, you're, snap it, accelerate it, and return it back in. Straight line, lean into it, the right hand stays glued up, your chin is down, hands up. This is going to be about 30 seconds of just these ones by itself for now. So I want movement, move around, flow. You're punching full speed now, real speed, as we're getting more warmed up. Get those legs moving. All right, let's switch to two. Now it's going to be just two by itself. So you see how it's variation A, variation B. We're keeping it nice and simple here in the beginning. Two is your straight right. Pivot that right foot, snap it right back into the chin. Two. Just a single punch. Don't just stand here like this, doing this crap. Or not even just this, even if you're pivoting, not non-stop. I want you moving, flowing, snap it, bounce around, little head movement, little footwork, snap it out, circle around, pivot, bounce, use the space you have, knock some shit over, punch holes in the damn walls, we don't care, just keep it freaking moving. Snap it, right hand, left hand stays glued up to your chin, hands up, right down the middle, Flow. There it is. There's your two. And time. So think of that. One is variation A. The straight right, the two is variation B. So we're just going to switch between those two. It's a one and a two. I'm just going to call it out. So let's start with that one. When I call switch, all you're going to do is go over to the two. Simple stuff. I'm keeping this nice and simple to get you into the flow before we get to the other rounds. So let's start with just that one. Down the middle, straight right. One, switch right back on the fly. Two. So look, if you're in the middle of a punch with the one, and I say two, it should just be right on the fly. You need to transition into that punch right away on the fly. Let's do it. We're on twos. One. I'll throw a, pop a double jab in there for some spice. Go for it. Snap it in there. Two, snap, turn that hip. 
Move around. Watch your circling, flowing. Use the space you have. Get that body temperature up. Just getting rolling, getting warmed up. Keep with our twos. Move around. One. Two. Ooh, look at that transition back there. One. Oh yeah. Two. Time. So you get you get the flow. Pretty simple stuff. We're gonna keep it nice and simple like this in the beginning. I was gonna keep building up, building up, building up, picking up the pace. So if you have a bag, you can start jumping on your bag now. It's just gonna be threes and fours. We're keeping this real easy in the beginning to continue getting you warmed up. You should already be getting that blood flowing now. So we're gonna, if you have a bag, start punching on the bags. Let's start. So again, this, this is gonna be threes and fours here. So it's gonna be threes by itself, then fours by itself, then switching on command with threes and fours as it's called out. So let's do it. Three is your left hook. Your elbow's 90 degrees, move parallel to the floor. Three. Move it around, move around, flow. Look at my left hip, turning. Left foot is pivoting, get your whole body, boom, like a door swinging on a hinge. Left, get your lead hand, your lead hand hook. So if you're a lefty, you're gonna be opposite. We are gonna be switching stands at one point later on. Get that three in. Lead hand hook. Or if your hand's not punching, stays up at your chin. You have a bag, you're on the bag right now. Easy stuff. Just 30 seconds. Continue. This is a secondary warm up. Move it around. Flow. Bounce. Boom. Boom. There's your threes. Move those feet around. Don't stay in place. Don't stay in place. As you see, we're all over the place. We're turning, pivoting. It's only one, one or two punches at a time. So you don't have to be watching my ugly face the whole time. You can just be moving around. Get one more. Boom. All right. Let's go right into the four. That's our right hook. Same exact thing. It's just your rear hand hook, your back hand hook. Let's go. Four. Elbow up and out. Whatever hand's not punching, don't forget. Boom. This other hand will be up at the chin. Let's go that four. Turn into it. Pivot. Move. Bounce. Flow. Boom. Rhythm. Rhythm. Find that flow. Find that rhythm. And forward to those punches. If my uncoordinated ass can find some rhythm, every single one of you freaks out there can find some damn rhythm. It's just in boxing I'm finding some rhythm. Don't expect me to see any rhythm on any damn dance floor because that shit ain't happening. It's happened a few times in my life. And let's just say, that's exactly why I don't drink any alcohol anymore. Alcohol is no good for you. Move around, four. What a waste of calories. What a waste of just dead calories alcohol is. What a waste of feeling like shit the next morning. I used to just drink occasionally, maybe once every month or once every two months, a couple drinks here and there. But now I've been, I don't even know, Couple years now. Three years, two years, I don't even know how long without a single single sip. You don't need a, a, an alcohol. If you need alcohol to be fun or have fun or relax, you need to reevaluate your freaking situation. I'll tell you that. That's just a vice. That's just a nasty vice. Find a more positive vice you need to relax. Learn to meditate. Learn to read. Learn to write. Learn to journal. That's what you need to do. You need to be fun. I don't know, get out there more. Have some more experiences, some more stories to tell. You don't have to just be drunk to have fun at the party. Anyway, let's get back to punching. Turn that out there, that was a four. All right, time. So now we're gonna switch between three and four. You should get nice and warmed up by now. You should feel that body temperature raising up because of all this movement. You need this movement. Let's see you start one punch at a time. This is all about the flow, all about the footwork and the movement. Let's do it. So it's between threes and fours. Let's go. Three. So you're just on three. So we call it out. Switch. To four. So right now it's only two strikes. We can just call switch to keep it simple so you don't have to think about it. Later we're going to be randomly mixing between all these. So realize this is your three and your four. 
Learn the freaking numbers. If you don't know these numbers, learn the numbers. Switch. Switch. I'm in the middle of a punch when the switch got cold. So you just flow from boom, boom into three, four. So round four right now. Little freak show back there beating the crap out of Bob. Good hooks to the body. I like it. Get Bob in the picture here. This is entertaining. There's just something satisfying about sinking your knuckles into a good old Bob there. Switch. Move around. Flow. I want to see some footwork, some energy flowing around. Wake your ass up. Wake the family up. Wake the neighbors up. If you're like me, your neighbors are used to the crazy shit. So just roll with it. Just roll with it. You should see the looks we get when we're out there working out in the driveway. Working out in the street. We'll be pushing a sled up the hill. It's like 100 degrees outside. With a weight vest on. With someone with a, a, a resistance band pulling behind the resistance. Looking like you're on a, a dog sled on a leash. Pushing a sled. Can't imagine why no one invites us over to barbecues. Can't imagine. Oh well. I'll live. Switch! Got a right hook. There it is. We're moving. This is simple stuff. Just getting us flowing. Switch! Switch! Time! Right away we're going to uppercuts. Right away. You don't need no stinking break. We're going right to it. Uppercuts. Fives and sixes. Let's go with just five. Same thing. Move around. Crunch. Your lead hand uppercut, your left uppercut. Crunch into it. The right hand stays glued to your chin while you're throwing that five. Dig, twist, crunch. Move around, hands up. Boom, there it is. Flow, rhythm. Crunch, crunch, crunch. We should do this workout outside today. One day we're gonna do this 6 a.m. class outside. It's 3 a.m. where we are. Those neighbors are like that. Crunch. Move. Hands up. Dig it. Dig it. Just a quick 30 second round. Think about that body dip and crunching and boom. Coming up. Bam. Under the chin. Using the, the waist, the hip, the oblique, the lat to throw that punch. That lead hand uppercut. Chin tucked. Crunch in. Dig it. Twist it. Yeah. Go to six. Right uppercut, crunch it, move around. We need some footwork, we need some movement. Crunch that in there, fly it up, bring that uppercut in. Boom. Oh yeah, bam. There it is, there it is. Drive that uppercut in there. Full speed, hands up, hands up. Move around, bounce around. Nice. All right, we're gonna go to the switches. Fives and sixes, right to it. We don't need a break. We're gonna keep rolling. Keep rolling. Let's do it. Five. I'll call the switch to the fives and sixes. We're gonna get quick switches this round. Switch. Right to that six. Right uppercut. Move around. Switch. Flow to that switch. Chain it together. Switch. Dig, dig, dig. Move. We need footwork. Flow. Rhythm. Crunch in, crunch in, flow together. If you get caught in the middle of a punch, I call switch. You flow right to that second side. Flow with it. Switch. Crunch in, crunch in. We're moving. We need some energy. I need you picking up the pace out there, freak shows. Switch. Crunch, crunch. Boom. Switch. I like that. He does that transition every time. Makes it a combo. One last one for good measure. Boom, switch. Time, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, let's roll, we're going right to it. You don't need breaks after this. Each time we switch sides, it's a freaking break. We're gonna keep rolling. We're going right into our kicks. So we're gonna start off with just a left kick. Left kick. Now I need you moving around, so look, I'm in my stance. Switch, left kick, back to my stance. And I'm moving, so I'm flowing. So look, I'm here in my stance. This is my left leg, my lead leg. I'm gonna get a quick switch, boom. Get back to my stance and move around. Switch, boom. So we're going just lead leg right now. Just left leg and a front kick right now. 
Let's do it. Hands up. If you have a bag, you're kicking the bag. You can go, if you're on a bag, you go roundhouse or front. Right here. Switch, boom, just lead leg right now. But I need you to move around and flow. I need you to get that flow, that switch, boom, step back into your stance every time. Plenty of work, plenty of calories being burned. By getting this movement, switch, kick, step, back to your stance, and flow and rhythm. Let's go, get that foot up there. Boom, we got that kick coming right into the face, or right into the gut, or boom, to a nut shot. Keep those hands up the entire time. Flow. Just left kick. You can go roundhouse if you want. If you're on the bag, go roundhouse. Like little Freak Tyson's doing poor Bob's ribs back there. Let's see that out. Oh, look at that. Switch step, bam, shin to rib. Oh, Bob's gonna have a bad day. He's gonna be pissing blood for a week. Boom, whip it in there. And let's go to the right leg, your rear leg, the same thing. You need to be flowing, moving around. Boom, drive it in there, hands up. Flow, bam. Reset, bounce it around, keep those hands up. Move, move, right on your feet. Hands up, rhythm, flow, bam, and flow right into it. So you're not gonna be standing still and throwing a kick. You're gonna have nothing on it, you're gonna be all stiff. You need to keep bouncing around. Keep flowing, keep your rhythm going. Keep it rolling. Hands up, drop around, move around, bounce. 50% of the work today should be just that movement, that flow, that footwork, moving around, set up that next strike. Get that leg up there. And time. All right, we're gonna switch between the left kick and the right kick whenever I call switch. Going in three, two, one, boom, let's roll. Left kick, move around, bounce, switch, Boom. Good step up, not kick. All right, switch. Right to the right kick. Those hands up. Drive that right kick in there. Switch, left kick. Hands up the whole time. Hands up, hands up, right kick. Bounce, bounce. So, rhythm, switch, left kick. Switch. Light on your feet, on the walls of your feet, on your toes, you're moving. I need this movement, I need to see this movement from you all over the place. to elbows, right away to elbows. They look just like hooks, except you're tucking the hand in and laying with the elbow. You can come straight across or even down, downward. So you can slash it down. Let's start left elbow. It's gonna be a real quick round. Come on, left elbow. As you can see in the, in the back, Tyson on Bob there. You can see him slashing those elbows in. Look at that. It's just like a hook. Make your elbows vicious. Slash it in there. Now just the left elbow. Think about that hip turning it. Driving it in. Slash it. Vicious. Boom. Drive hard. Get some momentum. Some flow into that. Go to the right elbow. Right away. Right elbow. Rear elbow. Slash it in there. This one's easier to come a little upward and down some force onto that. Still get that flow going. Still get that rhythm, that movement, that bounce in your step. Drive it in. Hands up, hands up. All right, we're gonna switch between the two. Coming up and time. Let's switch now between left elbow, right elbow. I will call the switch. Going at three, two, one. At elbows, smash those elbows. Start that left. Look at that, you got a vicious thing. drive into that lead elbow, slash in while you're keeping that chin tucked. Your shoulder is blocking your face at the same time. Switch! Right elbow. Hands up. Switch! Switch! Smash it, smash it!
Shake it, shake it, shake it. Walk around. Shake it out. Do what you gotta do. Shake, move, bounce, rhythm. Keep it rolling. Get ready for the next round. We're picking it up. Now we know all of our punches. We know all of our kicks. We know of all of our strikes. Right now we're gonna think just head. Any strike to the head. It could be straights, hooks, elbows to the head. If you can get your legs up there, if you can do splits and shit, you can go kick to the head. I'm gonna stick with those to the lower. Then when I call switch, we're gonna go to the body. So you have to lower your level for the body. You don't have to stay down there the whole time. You're just gonna have to drop, boom, boom, for each combo. Body, all right, let's do it. It's just gonna be head and body. So we're gonna start, we're gonna call this switch right away. All right, so let's start with just sweep. the head. We don't need to practice. Let's, let's do it. Let's go right to head. Head. Head only. Just to get used to those combos. Just mix it up. Go. Head shot. Shh, shh, shh. So think about aiming up at your own level of your head. You can see in the video, I'm aiming right at my own face. So I'm blocking my own head. So you're making sure you're punching at that level of your face. So we're on this head right now. Shh, shh. Mix in your straights, your hooks, your uppercuts, your elbows. Mix it up. So now you know all the punches. This is up to you to pick it up. As long as they're head shots. Have some fun. Mix it up. Hooks. Straight to uppercuts. Straight to hooks. Mix it up with just head shots. You can go three, four, five punch combos. Mix it. One, two, threes. Four, five, six. All head shots. Move it around. Two punch combos. Simple stuff. Boom. One punch combo. Only headshots, all right? Time, let's go down to the body. So think about lowering your level for each single punch or combo. So let's just start with a single punch. Go, body, drop down. Again, mix it up. We're not gonna call a punch out, I just want you to think body. Anything that's hitting the gut. Now it could be an uppercut too, right? You could not follow through and crunch an uppercut to the gut. It could be a knee. Drop for those hooks. Drop for those straights. You need to lower your level. You feel your legs working on those. Boom! Just drop for a single left hook to the body. Body shots only. Rip some uppercuts in. Hooks. Straight right. Boom! Just mix it up. Don't worry about what I'm calling out. Just giving you ideas. But just keep mixing up punches to the body. Combos to the body. Oh yeah. Breaking Bob's ribs back there. Keep moving. Oh yeah. Boom. And time. All right, so now we're gonna switch between head and body. It's gonna be a little longer round. We've been kind of building up. These are some of our main rounds here. So we'll be up to the head and you should just freestyle it. It's not just non-stop flinging punches. Think about you're in that flow, you're in that fight to the head. I call switch, boom, boom. Automatically transition to the body when I call switch. So let's start off with the head. Everyone's on head, we're all on head. Going in three freaks, two, one, let's go. Head shots. Mix it up. Create your own combination. It's a chance to let your hands go. Have some fun. Throw those hooks, throw that one, one, two. Big, boom, right hook to the head. Crunch in some uppercuts. Mix in some punches. Two, three, four. Mix it up. One, two, three. Go to punches. Spend a lot of time on these purposely so you, so you don't have to call them out. So you can make up your own combos here on the head. Switch. Body. Right away. You drop it low now. Your legs should be working on these body punches. Uppercuts to the body. I'm going to little low with that one. That one look like a little like a nut shot in there, but that's all right. Low. Rip it. Rip it to the body. Boom. Switch. Back up top to the head. And then move it around. This is one of some of our main rounds of the day now. We built up to this. Move around, make this count. Mix it up, your straights, your hooks, your uppers. Your elbows can be head shots. Mix it up, don't forget everything we did. Body, a knee, knee to the body. We did your knees on the other, but you could do a knee to the body. Lower your level with those legs and these body shots. Lower your level. Drop down. Oh yeah, dig it. Crunch those hooks and uppers to the body. Switch, back up top to the head. 
I need you moving, I need you moving. You don't know when the switch is coming. Just be ready for it. So if you're in the middle of a punch, up to the head and that call switch, it should be boom, boom, and flow right to the body. Switch! We're on body right now. Get low, get low! Dropping some, boom, weight into the body shots. Keep moving, we're on body, keep it moving. Hands are up. Drop lower your level. Switch! Back up top, your legs should be working a ton here. Moving around, breathe. Breathe for each punch. Speed of your breathing smacks the speed of your punches. Switch. Freestyle, you're freestyling those body shots. Don't wait for me to call up with their audition. As long as they're body punches, keep it moving. You have some fun with it. We spent all that time in the beginning building a whole of different types of strikes. Huh, for the body. So make it count. Hands up, hands up. Switch. Back up top. Boom! Ooh, nice big overhand right. Aim at yourself. Mix it up. Two punch combos, three punch combos, four punch combos, five punch combos. Single punches. Boom! Switch. Down low, use those legs. You feel those quads burning when you're getting down for those body punches. Turn into it. Drop some weight into those body punches. Oh yeah, keep moving, keep moving. Top. This is about a two-minute round here. Keep moving. Flow, flow. You need, to, you need to be moving. You're in a fight here. You're in a fight. Can't be sitting still. Mixing those combos. Don't just do the same thing every time. Mix it up. Oh yeah. Upper hook. Straight. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. Mix it up. Six, three, two. Six, three, two. Oh, good flow combo to the head. All right, body. Huh, 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 632 to the body, same thing. Gut, upper shot, hook, body, bam, straight right to the gut. Get out of there. Get down to the damage, up and out. We're moving. Boom. Oh yeah. Switch. Right up top, so you don't know when it's coming. You need to be able to adjust on the fly. Adjust to the situation on the fly. Moving. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Sort of some neck circles. Bend your neck if you need to like me. Shake those arms out. Stretch them. Shake them. Flow. We next, we got inside and outside coming up. So this one, we're not going to be moving in and out until I call the switch. So outside, let's put Bob back in the picture. Tyson knocked the crap out of him. And put them out of the picture. So outside, this is a chance to catch your breath for a second, by the way. So outside, I'm always, the closest I am is a full arm distance away. So I'm never within an arm's distance throwing uppercuts, hooks, elbows, or knees. I'm always out here. So this is outside. Think about jabs and footwork. Look, I'm way out here. Once in a while, setting up a straight right. But it's full extension. I'm out here. It's only straights. Or kicks, because those are outside. And once we go to inside, then you're in within. You're never further away than an arm distance. You're in that range here. Body shots, uppercuts, elbows, knees. You're always inside, holding and hitting. Outside, and you're back out here. So think outside, Muhammad Ali. Inside, Joe Frazier. Outside is footwork and jabs. Once in a while, straight rights and kicks. Inside is feet more planted, body shots, uppercuts, short hooks, and elbows and knees. Let's do it. We got it. We're making sense. We following. We flowing. Let's do it outside. We're Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Bouncing around. We're on the outside. So I'm gonna stay here, far away from the screen from you, for the outside. When we call inside, you'll see. I'm gonna step in for that closer punch. Let's start outside only for a good 30 seconds. See, I have footwork. Those jabs, you're never close. I'm even getting further away sometimes. Mixing those kicks. Use that jab to set up a good straight right, a full extension straight right so you stay outside. You can throw a one, two. A lot of jabs, double jab. Even triple that jab. 
Setting up, boom, a straight right. A switch kick, left kick, right kick. Mix it up, outside. Going outside only right now. We're not doing the switch round yet. See, I'm flowing, flowing. Footwork, distance, range, ha! Straight right. All far away. Using footwork as a weapon. Don't stop moving, don't stop moving. That outside fighter, that Muhammad Ali fighter, needs to be on your toes, on your horse, moving around. Different angles. Hard to keep up with. Move. Move around, bounce, use your footwork. Your footwork right now is your weapon. Keeping you away, keeping you on the outside. Sticking that jab out there. It's, it's not just a defensive jab, it's not just keeping them away, it's doing some damage that jab. You can break a nose with a jab if it's thrown correctly. Time! All right, let's go inside. So now you should be within an arm's distance of your opponent. So get inside here. And we're going to stay in here. So the only movement would be angles here. See, I'm just pivoting out from different angles on the body, on the head, on the jaw, on the ribs, the liver. Let's do it. Inside only. Come on, inside. See, I'm uh, sitting close. Mixing those elbows. Uppercuts, elbows. Being more vicious. So you really not can't even do any straights because look, you're in close. No straights. Inside only. You can mix in body punches inside. You can mix in knees. Uppers to elbows, hooks to knees, crunch it, we're moving, inside, working, so you're just working the angles if you're in here, just keep your opponent cornered, you should do all that work on the outside to get in here, do the damage, we're staying in there, keep them on the ropes, power, huh? body shots, head shots, elbow, body shot, mix it up. This is your chance to have some fun. Let it flow. Mix in everything you've been working on. Everything you've been learning. Everything we warmed up with today. Uppers to elbows. Hooks to elbow. Drive it in. Time. All right, so we're gonna go from outside to inside. Mixing it up. So I'll call it out. I'll just call the switch. Or I'll say inside, outside, whatever it is. You're just going to call switch. So outside is out here. The second call switch. You close that distance. You get in. I call switch. You get back out. Back to working that jab. You know what those two rounds are by now for the practice we just did on them both. So let's all start it, freaks. Bouncing around. You got this? You ready? Yeah. Make sense? Let's do it. Nice work, Tice. Let's do it. We're outside. We are outside. Going in three. Two, one, we are bouncing, we are flowing. Working that jab. Quick straight right. Fixing those kicks. Footwork, we're moving, we're left, we're right, we're forward, we're back, just to set up that range. Pump that jab, a double jab. Great weapon to set up. Oh, big strong straight right. Inside! Get in. Mix it up. Don't forget the knees. Don't forget the knees. Elbows. Body shots. Huh. Uppers. Hooks. Outside. Get out. We're out. We're far away from the bag. Moving. Hands up. Outside. Think Muhammad Ali. Bouncing on the balls of your feet, on your toes. Mixing in those long range strikes, those punches, those kicks. Move, move, pop, pop, oh yeah. Switch, get in, get in, boom, boom, you're charging in for bombs. Mix it up. Ha, elbow, knee, uh, uh, switch, other knee. This is your chance to freestyle on these insides. Look at that. Try that out. Four uppercut. One, two, 
three, four, right into a bam, bashing elbow. And then on the other side. Outside, get out, get out. Back to that footwork. Back to maintaining that distance. Keep it moving. Oh yeah. Inside, boom, work your way in with those punches. Let them flow. Knees, hooks, elbows, uppercuts, body punches. Outside, mix. Switch it, back on your feet. A lot of work here, a lot of work here. Let that footwork be your recovery also. Get out here and recover, move around, it's a recovery. Set up those punches when you have them. Don't forget your kicks on the outside. Inside, boom, look at that, you work your way in. Moving forward with those power punches. See my head is still moving. So don't just stay still, you're inside, you're working with those different angles. Keep your opponent trapped. You did all that work to get in there. Make it count, outside, pop. Hands up, footwork, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's just some work. This is what we're here for. Inside. And time. Nice round. That footwork, that getting in and out, should be a lot of work. If you're not out of breath. If you're not sweating, you're doing something wrong. I'm just punching the damn air, and I'm dripping sweat. Soaking wet. Out of freaking breath. All right. This next one's gonna be just right side, meaning just any strikes on the right. It could be hook, it could be body, it could be outside, it could be kick, it could be knee, it could be elbow. We call switch, it's gonna be anything with your left side of your body, meaning left arm and left leg. So we're just gonna call it right side, left side, or simply switch. Let's start with the right side this time, just for the hell of it. We ready? Let's do it. Right side. Going in three, two, one, and time. Right side. Don't forget, it doesn't have to be non-stop. You should be moving. Mix it up. Single strike scene. As long as you're moving, there's gonna be plenty of work. Or double punch it combo, or punch kick combo. But these are right side only, so it doesn't be crazy combinations. Upper elbow. Right side only. Kicks, knees, elbows, straights, hooks, uppers, elbow, body shots, mix it up. Right side only. Left arm getting right here. It's recovering. Move it, move it. All right, let's go left side. All the strikes on the left side, let's do it. Right to it. The right hand still staying up your chin, staying home. Great combinations. That left side hook to upper. Knees, elbow, upper, mix it up. Double jab. Upper elbow, left side only, mix it up. Still moving around, still flowing, still rhythm. Move it, bounce it, flow it, shake it. Lefty only, a couple more seconds. Don't forget the kicks, don't forget the knees, don't forget the elbows, don't forget the body shots. All left side, time. All right, now we're just gonna switch between right side and left side. I will call it out, keeping it moving. So it's just all the right side of the body strikes. On the switch, anything on the left, go. Start right hand, everyone start the right. Mix it. Knees, elbow, switch. Left side. There 
it is. Switch. Switch to the right side. Keep it moving. Hands up. You should be out of breath now. You should be working. It's late in the game. Suck it up. Switch. Right to the left. Come on. Left knee. Left elbow. Left upper body shot. Mix it. Switch. Get creative. Have some fun. Let it flow. Because on this round, we're going to be mixing up everything we've done today. I'm just going to call it out. So let's say we're going to start off on head. Think of all, this, all, this, all the different things we've done today, all the different rounds. I'm going to run through the entire list right now for you. We had straights. We had hooks. I'm doing my fingers in here like you can see them. I'm on like one, two, three, but you don't see them. 
Anyway, we have straights, we have hooks, we had uppers, we had kicks, we had knees, we had elbows, we had head, we had body, we had outside, we had inside, we had right side only, we had left side only, then we had arm strikes, and then leg strikes. So I'm going to call out any one of those. These are going to be in a random order. You're going to switch on the freaking fly. It's going to be non-stop switching. Move around. Use your footwork. High intensity. Listen, this is the last real round of the day. It's going to be at least three minutes long. Go all out. Push yourself. Bury yourself. Every bit of juice you got left. Put on the freak show. Let's see what you got. Going in three, two, one. Boom! Let's start right side, right side, all your right side strikes. So mix it up. Inside! Now we're inside. You can know all these different types now. We spent time in every one of them. Legs! Leg strikes only. So we're just transitioning from one style to the next. Head! Shots. In those elbows. Great little mini combinations. Resetting it right back to it. Outside. Light on your feet. Flowing. Work that jab. Work those kicks. Footwork. Move around. Bounce. Flow. Kick. Footwork. Bounce. Move. Move. You gotta be fresh here late in the game. Left side, left side only, left side strikes. Any left side strikes. Could be head, could be body, could be elbow, could be straight, could be hook, could be upper, could be kick, could be knee. Mix it. Create your own combinations. Have some fun. Let them go. Pumping it, we're burning out here. Come on. Legs only. Go push the pace, push the pace, inside, uppers, body shots, hooks, elbows, knees, hooks, hooks only, little combination, make a little mini combination, not non-stop, you want hard punches, you can go right, left, Left, right, boom, 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 uppers, right side, all right side strikes, right arm or right leg, head or body, inside or outside, Lower your level for the body. Hey, right, let's go body. Lower your level for the body shots. Bend your legs, get down there. Nice fight, strike right to the body, Tice. Nice work. Head. Let's go for a kick to the head. Oh, we're gonna pull a hammy. We're gonna pull a hammy. Let's blow. Outside. We're flowing. Bouncing. Inside. Legs. Body. Switch on the fly, we're moving. Righty. Body. Straight. Sprint these out, sprint them out, come on. We're all sprinting out straight. All full speed. Finish off. And time. Nice work. 
freak shows. We are done. Listen, after this work, your recovery process should start right now. You should be have hydration ready, your post-workout shake ready, depending on what time you got up, this should be your probably second meal of the day. And make no mistake about it, they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That is incorrect. Your post-workout meal is your most important meal of the day. So that's the time, depending on how you're breaking up your meals, realize there's a difference between a meal replacement shake and a protein shake. A meal replacement is replacing a meal. It means it might have some carbs, some sugar, a little bit of fat. That's a meal replacement shake, which there is a time and a place for that. So make sure you know the difference. You know what you're having when. Then there's also a protein shake, which is literally just protein. Minimal carbs, maybe like two, three grams of carbs, if that. Fat, probably none. Zero or like one and a half grams of fat, two and a half tops. If that, that's a protein shake. So when you're going to sleep at night, you can sleep on protein. You can have protein right before you go to sleep if it's a pure protein shake. Egg whites, something like that, whatever, if it's pure protein. But you don't want to be going to sleep on carbs and fat or meal replacement. You don't want to have a meal right before you go to sleep, but you can't have protein right before you go to sleep. So right after this workout would be a, probably, if you already were up, up early and had a small meal before this, you could probably have a, a meal replacement right now shake if you're not having whatever, whatever your meal is. So it depends on when you're using your shakes. Use the shakes wisely. If you need any help with your shakes or your supplementation or what you should have before or after, or you need some help with your immune system, immunity booster, especially during these crazy times. Like I live off of the immune system. I, I keep my immune system strong all year round. I don't only take vitamin C and zinc and echinacea and green tea and all that stuff when I, when I think there's sickness coming on. I literally use that stuff every single day, a couple times a day, broken up different, different ways, all year round, seven days a week. Otherwise, you're, you're, in the, you're in your farm, all your horses ran away, and you go and close the doors and you start taking vitamin C after it's already too late. After all that nasty viruses and all the nastiness out there in the world has already broken through your forces, to your defense sources. I like to have that force field up all year freaking round. So make sure you're always working on your immune system. If you need help with supplements for your immune system, we have this awesome new, now we have, you know we have our Herbalife stuff, but I've been, I've been working working, taking some other, another line for the last about six months now. And I'm going to tell you, there's some amazing supplements here on the True Lean line. It's called True Lean that we don't have on Herbalife. So I've been combining the forces, those two together. And it's been amazing. I have a thing called an immunity shot that I've been taking every single day, sometimes twice a day, mixing it with my other Herbalife stuff, making concoctions between the two. So I'll put some posts in there. It's called Immunity Shot. It is freaking awesome. It's all freaking natural ingredients. It's the highest quality stuff you can get. So I'll put some links to some of that stuff in here. Some of the stuff that I've been taking to keep immune system, to keep the energy levels up, to being able to wake up at 2.30 in the morning and come out here full of freaking energy. And I'm not going to sleep now. I'm up for the day. I'm going to go get so much shit done right now. But I went to sleep at a, at a right time to get enough sleep to be able to wake up at 2.30 in the morning so I can get this training session done with you, have some freaking fun, and now I'm gonna go get more work done in a day than most people get in a freaking week. But you do have to take care of yourself from the inside out. So your nutrition needs to be on point. Your hydration needs to be on point. Your sleep needs to be on point. Your mental focus and clarity needs to be on point. So you need to take care of all that stuff, the mind, the body, and then you can worry about the business and working on the other things. So. If you need any help with any of that or need any help with any supplementation, just send me a, a message. We can get you on some of the Herbalife. I can send you some links to the True Lean stuff. They have, I've been, they have some awesome protein shakes also that I've been mixing with the Herbalife stuff. Awesome, awesome freaking stuff. A pre-workout that I actually like, their pre-workout. It's all natural, all natural flavoring. Zero artificial anything. I actually use that pre-workout over the Herbalife pre-workout. The Herbalife pre-workout wasn't really working. Sometimes I'll mix half and half. So anyway, if you need any help with any of that, Send me a message. We'll talk about it. Get you on some of those Herbalife meal replacements, the green teas, the beverage drink mix. And what do we got here? Yes, Clara, Sam, Beth, Ava, kicking ass as you wake up in the morning. We appreciate your dedication. You freaks are up here every morning kicking ass. That, that is dedication. That's consistency. That's what gets you results. That's what gets you through crazy times like this, the crazy shit like this. During, during all this whatever nonsense going on out there. And you, you, listen, 
If you ever miss these workouts, the recordings are there every day. They should be in your mail, e email. They're on the portal. They're also in here in the VIP group. So they're everywhere. They're sending send them out to you like four different ways, literally seven days a week. You never have an excuse. And then tomorrow, let's say you missed the, you missed the live workout. Tomorrow, you still have that backlog of all workouts because each day there's, there's several different workouts, you know, two to three workouts every day. So you might have done this workout today, but you're not going to do the boot camps later on. So tomorrow, you could do today's boot camp tomorrow. And you could look back last week and see a workout you didn't do. There are now over 700 hours of training sessions in the portal available to you. There's even a spreadsheet with the links you can just click on from YouTube. I'll even get that out to you also. You have all available to you. So there is absolutely no excuses. There's, there's more available to you now than ever before. Less reason to make excuses. You can do it right from your own home, right from your freaking garage. So anyway, if you have any questions or anything, need any help or anything, send me a message anytime. You are freaking awesome. I'm sure a little freak show wants to tell you something before we go. No excuses! Very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.